Looking for a way to get healthy? The Chef You and I program has the answer. Catherine Raker and chefs from around the nation will teach even the most inexperienced how to cook. Come into their kitchen and watch them take ordinary foods with loads of calories and fat and turn those foods into healthier dishes. You will be the first to get tips and ideas on foods that are easy to prepare. Now let's join Catherine and today's chef and learn how to make today's recipes. Hi, this is Katherine Rager of The Chef You and I, and I have my guest chef with me again, Terry Young. Hi, Terry. Hi. How are you feeling tonight? I'm a little under the weather, but I'm all right. Yeah, because of the heat, the heat? right? Yeah. Okay, well, guess what happened a couple days ago, or yesterday? What happened? The microset. It went out. The microwave. Oh, The yeah. microwave went out, and guess what? We use it all the time, don't we? <laughs> so we had to do a couple of things today that would speed things up because we don't have the microwave. So the last time we got together, what did we do? So you can't remember it, huh? I can't well, remember. guess what? It's up on the website, no, and good. it was really, really good. And uh, all the recipes are up there, Terry. So by the end of the show, we'll remember, right? Right. Well, you, when you're working so much, you tend to not do that. But guess what I did for you that you get to take home tonight? I may. We're going to be doing a new show with all vegetarian type foods. It's really healthy for you. So I saw this wonderful recipe on the quinoa uh, box, and they have them now. And this is what killed my microwave. Um, I actually, you can microwave quinoa now because they have it in packages of eight in oh. a package. You use two actually for this recipe, and it's really healthy because guess what? It's got tomatoes, seedless cucumbers, it's got mint, it's got uh, green onions. It's actually it very looks, delicious. And the quinoa is this wonderful, um, it looks like it's got little dots Seeds. in it, right? Yeah. But it's really good for you. So um, I made a whole bunch of it for you to take home tonight, okay? okay? So well, that's you. what we're going to make the next time you're here. So tonight is what night? Um, German night. Yes, and since Oktoberfest is right around the corner, we thought we would do everything German. And really, to be honest about it, half my family's German, the other side is Polish. So, and then we have Irish in there, too. Right. So, um, actually, the first thing we're going to make is... Potato beer soup. Which is very different, right? Right. Because it's really like potato leek soup in a sense. Right. Right. So we wanted to get this in uh, as soon as possible because it takes around 45 to 50 minutes okay. to make. Okay. Okay. So uh, I'm going to give you what we need you to tell do. Me what to put in. And okay. All. That's how much? Four. This is four cups of um, chicken broth. Okay. And. That's one. Then we have, um, I need to get some spoons. Then we have, let's see here, the potatoes. We'll go ahead and put those in. We okay. have diced potatoes, just like you would dice them if you were going to make mashed potatoes. Right. The, the spoons are in here, Terry. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. All right. So we'll stir that up a little bit, right? Okay. And then and what then, do you put in? Um, I just don't know. I think it's two carrots. Um no, I think it's a cup of carrots. Cup of carrots. Cup of carrots. And? Uh, three stalks of celery. Chopped up. Chopped up. We have uh, Dijon mustard. Here, let me do that for you. I'm going to put in a little pepper. Uh -huh. We don't use a lot of salt because Terry has got, uh, she can't have sodium. So we really watch the sodium and the garlic. So right. we didn't put garlic in here either, did we? No. And then this is um, leeks. leeks. That's one leek, chop, or no, not even a leek. It is actually one, uh, one, cup. one cup. One cup. One cup of leeks. And then and we, have, um, we have two bay leaves right. that we're putting in. I'm not going to put this one in because we've put it in a little um, cheesecloth bag with the thyme. Yeah. And we're okay. just going to drop that in. All right. 
and then we have chives we have uh one fourth of a cup of chives okay we just put that in and and then last we have um a cup of, of pills or german beer. german beer we're going to pour that in and you know you could add some more water to this okay so we're going to just start this off terry okay and because this takes the longest and so we want to put this on and get it ready so i'm going to turn around put this on the stove and we're going to let it boil and then when it gets really when the potatoes and everything get done we will put them in the potato soup. uh the not the microwave but the food processor and go from there. The bacon doesn't go in until the very end, right, Terry? Right, right. We um, we cook the bacon so it would be crisp instead of, I mean, if you like it, not, the non-cooked, you can put it in there, but. Right. We actually did the bacon ahead of time because you're going to put that in the end of it and goes on the top or as a garnish, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to take a real short break and we're going to come back. And the second thing we're going to do is we're going to make the October Fest German beer cheese spread. Right. And we're going to taste that one. I okay. can't wait because it takes okay. really little time. We'll be right back. Thank you. We're back on The Chef, You and I, and Terry. We're going to make Oktoberfest German beer, beer. cheese spread. spread. And guess what we're going to have? Now, they suggest that you use the regular soft pretzels with this, but I couldn't find any, and I didn't have time to make them. So I have some pretzels that we're going to use that are hard pretzels, okay. and we're going to serve that. So here's the wonderful thing about this. It doesn't take any time at all. So I need you to cube okay. all that cheese for me. Okay. And by the way, I'm going to have a little beer if you don't mind. Go right ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Since, you know, why not? It's, 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 it's that Pilsner beer. I like that. That's right. It's really a mild beer. And, you know, at Oktoberfest, we have one of the biggest Oktoberfest in the country. Right? Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah. And um, actually, I think it's this weekend. I'm not sure. But usually when the Bengals play, the Cincinnati Bengals play, the first time that they play, we have... Oktoberfest, but I'm not sure. I have to check that date. But it's really a big celebration of three, uh, all downtown three days. They have dancing. They have just like you were in Germany all of a sudden. Right. Okay. So um, did you ever go to, have you gone? To, I have gone down there. And do you enjoy it? time, yes. Well, actually, you get to eat all kinds of German food, don't you? Well, I don't, but that's it yeah. is very good. It's very good. Anyhow, let me tell you what's in the recipe, Terry. Um, we have the cheese that we want to cube, like you're doing right now. You want to have 16 ounces, actually, uh, of, of the cheddar cheese cut into half-inch cubes. And then when she's done with that, we are going to put the cheese, the cube cheese, in the bowl of the food processor and pulse it. Finely chopped about 10 pulses, believe it or not. Wow. So why don't you just give me that? Here's one of these things that we usually use. Here we go. And we can put this into the, um, here, let's do this. I can, I, don't take it I'll off just here. do just it. Go ahead. Here, I'll do that. Okay, so you just put these in there. I dropped one. But guess what? Our producer can get it for me, but we're not going to use that one anyhow, right? <laughs> right? So I think I'm just going to start with that, Terry. Okay. And yeah. see what happens because, wait a minute. I, no, this is the back. I never get this right. This one okay. on the table. So we want to pulse that for 10. It's getting there. Yeah, it it's is. It's getting there. Because there was quite a bit in there. Does that look good? Yeah, it does. Okay. So I'm going to take this off. And what we're going to do is put this into that bowl right there. Right? Like this. So if you hold this. Okay, ready? Yes. All right. Wait a minute. Got a little bit in there. My hands are clean. Okay. So then I'll put the rest of it in there. I love this. This is such a great 
Ninja, good. this is wonderful. I'll clean hands again. And we'll put the rest of the 16 ounces in there, right? I love cheese. So I'll never be able to give cheese up. I, I never, either. ever. Okay, so we want to put the rest of this in here and wait a minute, do it this way. There. So. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, that's done. So now you want to add up all the rest of the ingredients, okay? Okay. Which, you want to put that in there for me? Yeah. Okay, I've got the spoon. I love these ingredients. It's really good. You're going to add um, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, which we've already pre-measured, right, Carrie? We're pouring it right in here. Okay. Then... Mustard. Um, let's see. Was that a tablespoon of mustard? I think it was. No, it was a one and a half teaspoons of regular yellow mustard. Um, we're not going to put the minced garlic, but we'll put that recipe up there. Okay. Um, we also have, I'm going to turn this pepper. down, by the way. What else do we have, Terry? Black pepper. Black pepper. And beer. Salt. Salt. Um, and the beer. The beer. And also the German beer, which is three-fourths of a cup of German beer, right? And then you want to blend that, Terry. I think there's a, what you call it in here, one of these. Just blend that together. And then you put it in the refrigerator for at least an hour before you serve it. And it's supposed to kind of look like like we're, we're showing you, and all you do is blend it. It's real fluffy, like airy. Yeah, and then what you do with it actually, after that, is you serve it with pretzels. Oh. You could crackers too, I don't know. Oh yeah. Looks good to me. Smells good. Let me smell that. Ooh, that does smell good. Well, it's a beer cheese. It's a beer cheese. I don't think we've ever, we've made beer cheese soup haven't we? Yeah, I believe we did. We did. Yeah. Okay. So that looks, looks really good. good. We're going to put that in the refrigerator for a minute, uh, for an hour, Terry, and then we'll take it out and we'll serve it with some pretzels. Okay. okay we'll be right back. We're back on The Chef, you and I, and Terry, this is one of my favorite German recipes. Actually, it is red cabbage, German red cabbage. And I have to tell you, we were in West Baden over the weekend right. in Indiana. And that is where? French Lick, right? French Lick, Indiana. And we went to a German restaurant there. And I got to tell you, it was so delicious. And they had the best red cabbage I've had since Germany. I like to make red cabbage. But you can either use the jars that you come that are sweet and right. sour, and then you add your apples and onions or whatever, or you can make it from scratch. So we are giving you the German red cabbage recipe. So would you okay. like to tell everybody, well, I cut these apples up. Two tablespoons of butter or lard, two apples peeled and cored and finely diced, one onion finely diced, two pounds of red cabbage, Slight, thinly sliced, three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one cup of apple cider or unsweetened apple juice, one tablespoon of red currant jelly, two cloves, one bay leaf, two juniper berry. If Jun you can find, if you can find, if them. you can find them, I couldn't find them. Okay. I'm telling you, I looked. One tablespoon of white sugar, one half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a, and a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. And it's how how do you do the whole thing? Want to talk about it? Um, you put it in like a Dutch oven or a, a heavy bottom pan. You melt the butter, put it on high. You add the onions in and the apples. 
for just a couple minutes, two to three minutes. Then you add your cabbage, vinegar, stir it until it's complete. Then add the apple cider vinegar, the cloves, bay leaf, the berry. Season with the sugar, the salt, and the pepper. Then you reduce the speed to medium. Cover the pot and let simmer 50 to 60 minutes until the cabbage is soft but not mushy. So what we're doing is a little different tonight. We already did this part right. of it, but we're adding the apples in the end because I like to do it like that. And I, I leave a little skin on because I like to see that, okay? Right, right. So we're just gonna add this. Hold on, we're almost done. And then we'll just put that on for a few minutes right before, actually, right before we serve it. So I'm just gonna do this, Terry. Okay. Okay. And it's so delicious. So we'll just put that on the stove for later. All right. All right. And it'll be great. It's a wonderful condiment or vegetable to add to your German recipe. So that one's done, right? So just add that and then put that on the stove. And our soup is getting done quickly. And I want to check on that for a minute, Terry. I want to see how those potatoes are. You know, they... I think we only have another few minutes on this, and then we'll be able to put this into the food processor. Okay. Because it's a creamy potato soup. Right. Right. So we got that. So now um, we're back on the chef, you and I, and Terry, we're making the what? The Jaeger schnitzel. Okay. So what's the first thing we have to do? We have to get a, a, a shallow dish, and we're going to mix together the... One cup of breadcrumbs. Okay. And the flour. So we're putting the flour in, then what? We put in um, one tablespoon of flour, and then our salt and pepper. Which is right here. We're not using salt, we'll salt it ourselves afterwards because Terry they wouldn't be able to eat it then, right? You can okay. salt it. Okay, then what, Terry? And then, uh, let's see, we need a spoon. Right here. Okay. We just stir that up. Right. Now, we use the rice um, uh, panko instead of using, um, you know, breading from, right. um, from bread. Okay. So, that's one thing. Now, what are we going to do? We have to beat the egg. Okay, hold on. Okay, now what? And place the egg in a separate dish. Okay, okay. Okay, now we're going to put the oil uh -huh. into into your pan. Okay. And, and start letting that get warm. Get warm, okay. Then what, Terry? Um, you're going to dip. You're going to dip the um, pork into the um, egg. But don't I have to pound it first? Oh, yeah. Sorry. We need to do that. Yeah, go ahead and eat. You should have been pounding the whole time. That's right. <laughs> well, this these are thin, so they're not bad already. So then what you do is do this. And I had the butcher do this for me. So now we want to put it into the egg, right? Right. 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 And then into the flour. Right. Okay. And then when the pan gets hot, hot you're going to cook it and put it on both sides. It, it says um, put that in there. about five minutes on each side. Okay, so we did that. We're going to do this, right? And then after this is all done, I'm going to wash my hands again, which we do a lot on this show, right? Okay, so we're going to do four, okay? That's two. Okay, I'm going to take put... One. And this pork is really nice, actually. But unfortunately, sometimes it gets a lot of fat on it, Terry. So right. I, t I tend to actually make it into strips more so, right? So let's do this. Well, something just flew off. That happens on shows, right? <laughs> I don't want to get it on you either. Turn it over. So it doesn't take that long, look at that, 
doesn't take that long to do it, right? So we're right. gonna do this, right? Yeah. Then in there. And do we have that, did the producer turn that up for us or not? I don't know. So, all right. So we'll just do a little bit. I bought this pork, actually, Terry, um, for, I got about six pounds of it, right? So I can use it, over, I've got a lot of it that I'm gonna put in the freezer, right? Because you can use it for other things, right. too. So, all right. I'll put that in there. And one more. All right, and our soup is almost done. And Yeah, and so is the cabbage. The cabbage is almost done and the soup's almost done. That's great. So, anyhow, we got one more little piece to do. And we'll do that. And then um, after we brown that, Terry, we have to do the... Once those are browned, then we do the mushrooms and onions. Right. Then you're okay. going to take those back out and set them to the side. Okay. <clears throat> and then you're going to add your um, onion, mushroom, into the skillet, and you're going to cook them until lightly brown. Okay. And you're going to add your water, and you're going to dissolve your bouillon cube. Right. I'm going to go ahead now. And put it in the water. Stick it in water. Okay. And uh, then you let that um, cook simmer for 20 minutes. Right. And then you stir in the... Cornstarch. Cornstarch into the... The sour cream? Sour cream. Wow, that's different. I've never done that before. So anyhow, um, I'm going to do this for a minute, just a second. got to wash my hands off a little bit. And how long does it take all together, Terry? Um, all together, it says 25 minutes of cooking. Really? Let's put that up. 15 minutes to prepare it and right. 20 minutes to cook. So, you know, it's funny because when you're when you're at um, uh, a place, a German restaurant, and they do it, it comes out really fast. Yes. And I always wondered about that, you know? Right. So this is why. So it's not quite brown on the other end yet, but guess what? It won't take long. Right. And then we're going to add the mushrooms and everything else. We're going to... I think we should take a real short break for a minute so that we can let that happen and we'll get the soup out and we'll blend that. Okay. And we'll do that, okay? Right. We'll be right back on The Chef You and I after these important messages. We're back, and guess what, Terry? Um, the Jaeger schnitzel, the pork is pretty well done. We're going to put it into this uh, right. oven dish, and then we're going to make the keep it warm to keep it warm because the oven's on, right? And so that's how you want it to be browned. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this into this dish, right? And right. You might want to pound these a little heavier than I did, right? Because, and a couple of them had bones in them, unfortunately. I'll do that, right? And then do this, right? And this. All right, we'll put these in the oven for a few minutes, but in the meantime, do I want to clean that out or do no, I? You no, you leave it in there. Leave it in there. So I'm going to put these in the oven. All right. Can you open the door for me, Terry? Yeah. Okay. Leave those in the oven, right? Great. Now, the next thing we're going to do is what? You're going to put the, I'm going to see how many, one eight ounce um, can, but we used fresh uh, mushrooms right. in there. All right. Okay. And one medium onion. Which we already diced. Right. Okay. We're going to let that simmer a minute. Okay, and I need a, a spatula. All right, and I so gotta turn it up a little. Brown. I'm gonna brown those. All right, so we can show that on the, um, we can have the camera guy come and show it a little bit. Does this recipe have any beer in it? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so either. So, and you know, I love Ye Jaeger schnitzel. I love any kind of schnitzel, don't you? Okay, and so once we get these translucent or, 
you know, done. Then what are we going to do, Terry? We're going to um, pour in the water and the uh, bouillon cube. Okay. That was chicken stock, wasn't it? No, it was beef. Beef bouillon. It was beef bouillon. Oh, yeah. The, okay. I'm thinking of something else. Okay. So then you're going to add that because it's pretty, it's getting there. Okay, so why don't you add that? All right, and then let that cook for how long? Does it say? Let's see here. Let that simmer for um, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, just like this. Just like that. Not with that, the pork in there at no. all, right? No. And do, when do we add the sour cream and the I'm other? I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. Okay. We're gonna stir in. Well, let's see. The cornstarch and stir, stir, stir it. Excuse me, together. That's all right. So I'm gonna mix these together. That was um, a half a cup of the sour cream and the cornstarch. Tablespoon of the cornstarch. Okay. And I'm just gonna mix those together. So about uh, 20 minutes from now. We're going to add that to this, right? Uh, let me see here. Right? Yeah, you stir it in once you've got it mixed, and after that simmers for 20 minutes, then you're going to stir this in. Okay, so I'm going to turn this down a little bit, okay? Just simmer it. And while that's doing that, Terry, what we can do is we can actually make our soup so look, we could start our first course. What do you think about that? But we're going to need to take a short break first. So we'll be right back on The Chef You and I with my friend Terry Young and myself, Catherine Raker. We'll be right back. We're back on The Chef You and I. And Terry, you just broke up the bacon, right? Yes. And... We brought the soup over, and we are going to blend it, and then we will be able to pour it into um, each bowl, right? Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to take it off of here, right? And I can actually uh, take this off, right, and pour it into, um, you know what, let's pour it into a regular bowl from over there so that I can do it all at one time, okay? So we're taking and putting the soup into this uh, larger bowl, and then we'll scoop it out and serve it to everyone, okay? So... Personally, Terry, I think I would add a little bit more liquid to it because it comes out pretty thick, okay? So we'll do that, but we're going to put the second... I'm going to go over here and get the rest of the soup here okay. and put it into, um, actually, with this, into... And you, you can add the... We can add the water in there, too, all right? So we did the... We got the potatoes done first right right and now what we're doing is we're adding uh, this here not a problem okay then put this on the top again right you have to do it like this and then turn it on okay so then we take this off again and it's really done. And we can use that other one as well. Hold on a second. Go ahead. Okay, that's good. So, so you can use a food processor. You can use a, um, all kinds of different things. And you can see all those carrots and everything in it. It looks delicious, actually. It does. Doesn't it? So we're going to take a little short break, and we'll be right back for a second. We're back on the chef you and I, and here's the soup completed. And if you could see that, the camera could see that, it's we added a little bit of cream into it, which we really liked the taste of that. So if you could hand me the bowls, Terry, 
I will actually. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this on top of it, Terry, and some bacon. And, all right, we're gonna take a picture of it too for our website and put the recipe on there. This is actually a wonderful German soup that you can serve for Oktoberfest. Mm -hmm. So, and we wanna put a little bit of parsley in this one. And since Terry, you're not having any, um, we will, that'll do it, right? Yes. So that's our German soup. And how many, they don't have, it doesn't have a lot of calories in it, which was really nice actually. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to serve this to our producer. And we're gonna also show, in just a second, I'm gonna bring out the, don't you have the wonderful right. Um, appetizer right behind you? We'll be right back. Well, now we're, we did the cheese dip, it's been in there for an hour, so let's put it into the bowl and let's okay. try it. I know you tried the chicken, or the soup. Did you like it? It's very good. Okay, so let's do this. All right, so it's supposed to look like the way we have it, okay? Just like that. It's not supposed to look smooth. And that's what people need to understand because in the original recipe, that's what it looks like. It's kind of a hearty cheese dip. So you could even use crackers with it or you can use soft pretzels with it. And we're gonna try it. We're gonna try this, Terry, and see what it tastes like. And then we're gonna take a picture of it, right? Okay. And you can dip that in there. And if you wanted to make it a little different, you could right but I think this is really cool so we're gonna take a picture of this in a minute okay let's try it and see what we think on soft pretzels it really works Wanna try it it's actually very good we're back on the chef you and I Terry you just mix the uh, cornstarch and sour cream you want to add this into um, the mix there and this is kind of come out as a light brown gravy and we might have to put a little bit more liquid in this because this is going to get really thick in a few seconds so anyhow and then we need to take out the pork schnitzel um, and then we're going to plate that and see that's what it's going to look like and we put the the schnitzel into the Jaeger schnitzel into the oven and we're gonna plate that that looks so good Terry oh my gosh looks delicious actually okay so what we need to do that's pretty hot isn't it say, yes. so touch that? yeah so and we've got the Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the schnitzel and I'm going to get a fork out and we'll take, yeah, it's really tender now. Wow, feels wonderful. I'm going to take a couple of pieces of this, right, and put this on a plate. And then we're going to add the gravy to it with, there should, oh, here, I've got this. We're going to add the gravy to it, right? Put that over it. Oh, does that look good or what, Terry? It does Looks look delicious, good. huh? And then we want to, well, you know, we could put actually, we could put the, hold on, I need to get this in a minute. All right. And then we're going to put, I, I, I really think you should just put it there, Terry. Oh, okay. Because you got to, we've got enough room here. Okay. And we'll turn that off. Right? Yeah, just a little bit more. That should do it. That's it. And then you have, here, let me add a little bit more to this. All right, and a little green piece here. I use, I love to use parsley when, when we're cooking. All right, okay, so here you have a beautiful German entree for dinner for your, um, your guest, right? for Oktoberfest or the German holidays. Right. Okay. 
And then we'll put this other one out. And we're, the next thing we're gonna make after this is our cake. And that won't take long, right? Here's this and this one. And what do you have there? You have a beautiful, beautiful German dimmer, dinner. And like I said, that's kind of what we had the other night uh, in French Lick. So put this on there and you've got it made in the shade. So that's a perfect entree for a German dinner. And so we'll be right back after these messages on The Chef You and I with Terry Young and Catherine Raker, and we'll be making our dessert. Okay. Right. We're back on The Chef You and I, and we're making for dessert um, a German apple cake, Versunken Apple Falkenchen. I don't know. My granddaughter will call me up and tell me how to pronounce it the right way, right? <laughs> but it's a German apple cake. It's really simple to make. I made one for you to take home and for us to show the audience because it takes, Terry, about 35 to 40 minutes. And you got to make sure when you make it um, that the toothpick comes out clean. And I had to do, okay. uh, it was around 45 minutes in my oven at 350. Okay, so do you wanna show people how you core an apple? Cause you need to core the apple. You just take an apple core and you place it to the center. And makes it really simple. Then you yeah, just pull it, it just out. Pulls right out of there. Yeah, well there it went, it's right there. Okay, and then she's just gonna peel it real quick. And then we're gonna take and make, um, actually I need a little container to put the apple slices in, Terry, because actually uh, you don't want the apples, you wanna to use brown. that lemon juice um, right. on the apple slices so they don't get brown, right. all right? So the second thing that you do while she's doing that, I'm going to, she's gonna to toss the apple slices after she does that into this bowl. And we might need a little bit more lemon, um, actually, Terry. So I'm gonna get a little bit more lemon juice okay. out because when I found when I was doing it, you need to use more. It's better, more is better than not enough, okay? Okay. So there we go, all right. So the next thing we're gonna do, actually, is um, while she's doing that, I'm gonna in a large bowl, I'm gonna beat the butter and sugar using an electric hand mixer until pale and smooth. Add the eggs and beat until fluffy. So the first thing I wanna do is take the butter that's already melted, right, or soft, and put that into actually my bowl, right? And I need the sugar, Terry. Okay. Okay. And that is a half a stick of butter, right? And then we're gonna add the sugar to it, all right? And then I'm gonna beat this, right? Until it's smooth. Okay, and I'm just slicing the apple thin. So you can see that. And put it in there and then just pour the juice over it, Terry, after you get all the apples done. So now we're going to add the eggs to it, since I got that there, so I want to take and put the eggs in. One, actually three eggs. This is such an easy recipe and so easy to do, okay? So I'm going to add these until I get really smooth. You want to get it really fluffy. But you see, and you really need your butter to be soft. So that's really important to this recipe. Now pour the juice over it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, now that she's almost done with that, right? <laughs> I'm throwing apples. Oh, I know. 
So we need the flour. I need to incorporate the flour and actually the baking powder and, and the salt. Okay, so I'm gonna incorporate this first. And I'll pour the lemon juice over the apple. And I need the baking powder, is that in here already? I need two tablespoons of baking powder. I'll get that. Actually, I need two teaspoons of baking powder. Here's a, here, here it is right here, honey. So, just two teaspoons. One. Because it won't rise if we don't have that, right? So, we need, um, I need one of those to get everything. We used them both. Yeah. Where are they? We used them. Just give me a spoon. I can do it with a spoon. A spatula. I think we've used everything in my kitchen tonight. Yeah. All right. So, this looks good. And I need you to put the, um, I need you to put now the milk and the lemon. Um, a half a cup of milk. Right. And then I need the lemon zest. That really gives it a that nice flavor. Good. It really does. And we used a large lemon on that. Now, what I need you to do, Terry, is I need you to spray this pan all over with the pan. Okay. There you go. And once we do that, then we're gonna put the batter in, right? And then I'm gonna show you how to do the apple rings. nice batter as you can see and really it doesn't take long at all to do it okay this is done okay so you can see it that's what it looks like I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna take the batter you sprayed everything right yes yeah, and you've got one of those wonderful things right there and we'll move this over to the side and when she's done with that, I'll put this into the actual pan. And that's a, you need to use this type of pan. Can you hold that for me? I sure will. Okay. Um, because you want the cake to come out of the um, pan easily, okay? here. So here we go, Terry. Thank you. We're going to take this and we're going to put it, we're now, this is the, this is the piece to resist on. So, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around and the, the camera needs to see this. You want to push it just in a little bit and you're doing it in a circle like, right? So let's see, like that and like that. And you're going to go all around the whole pan. So, right there. And I do it like this, actually. And that. Now, when it comes out, this is a spring form pan. So, it's going to be simple when you take it out of the oven. You're going to let it rest for 15 minutes in the pan. And then you're able to take off the top of it, or the bottom of it, right? And it'll come right out. And actually, because we sprayed it really well, it came out very easily for me. So it's important that you get it really well oiled, okay? So this is how it looks. And it's really gonna, and with the magic of television, we're gonna put this in the oven, we're gonna take a break, and we're gonna come back, and we're gonna show you what it looks like 
and what you do next to it. So I thought this cake's really cool. I mean, we've had the chocolate cake. Remember, we've done the chocolate right. cake, stout cake. <coughs> and so you can see this is really quite easy. Put one there and one there. Right there. Okay, that is it. So there you are. Now let's take that and put that into the oven. Hold on. Okay, put that into a 350 degree oven for at least 35 to 40 minutes. Check on it, right? And you want to make sure that your cloth, or I mean your toothpick, is clean when you take it out. And I checked it, and I checked it actually a couple of times. Terry when we were doing it to make sure that it worked that it was perfect so we're going to take a short break and we're going to be right back on the chef you and I with the piece de resistance the actual cake and what we do next with it okay all right we'll be right back we're back on the chef you and I and we're at the end of our show Terry and this is the dessert this is the German apple cake and actually what you do is before you serve it you want to sprinkle it a little bit with powdered sugar. Okay, all over, it won't hurt. So that's how they eat it in Germany. All right, and we're gonna take a picture of that, what oh, we did yesterday. We did a picture yesterday when I baked it. So now I'm gonna let you taste it and see what you think. Okay? okay. And believe it or not, Terry, it doesn't have any salt in it. <laughs> I'll take a little taste of it too. And tell me what you think. It's good. It, it doesn't have a lot of, it, it's not real, real sweet, is it? It's not sweet. Good, I wanna try this. Taste the apple. The lemon, the lemon, it's very good. Oh yeah, it is. So if you want to watch our show and you want to get our recipes, all you have to do is go to thechefyouandi.com or go to katherineraker.com and you'll see the Chef You and I up there. And you're, we're also up on YouTube. And thank you again for coming and, thank you for and participating. Me. When are you going to bring Whenever. that darling little granddaughter of yours over? Whenever she, she's ready. She's ready. <laughs> okay. We want to say bon appetit. We'll see you next time on The Chef You and I. Thanks for joining us on The Chef You and I show today. We'll be back next week with another great and healthy recipe. Don't forget to visit our website, thechefyouandi.com, for all of our featured recipes, cooking tips, and clips of the show. 